<laughs> guys so let's start looking into our project files okay our first folder is called assets in assets is where we're gonna have all our JavaScript all our components all our SAS right so we're gonna click on JavaScript go to into hyper and then inside of hyper is where everything lives okay we're gonna start with the first folder called actions all right inside of it is the actions.js then here we have components this is where our components is gonna be living at and then we have state this is pretty much where we have all our states here and then in the index.js this is the home base this is where basically our app lives right this is where everything starts from okay so we're basically importing hyper app we importing h we importing the hyper app we importing dev tools you know hyper app or uh, redux dev tools we got uh, actions which is this file here we got global state which is this file here we imported the first component which is app.js and then here we basically declaring uh, hyper app like hey we're going to start so basically we're saying app app right and we're saying state equals to global state the view is the first component which is app and then from there we're saying root is document get element by id so basically a div on the public page as an index.html it has a, a div that has the id of app and that's where we actually inserting our app in right and then we have actions so actions is basically saying hey actions is equal to actions which is just you know it's an object full of functions right so that's pretty much it <laughs> it's nothing complicated all right then we have events events are like different dif different situations that, that happens in the app like you know load is gonna load soon as uh, the page loads this is the first thing that we we want to load up uh actions is pretty much is like this to console lock every single action that we take and this mixins is just to get the dev tools working that's about it you know and like and when you look at this you'd be like oh dev tools why is you know Redux that dev tools working on on hyper app isn't that for react like no nah, I mean it could work with anything so you come here and as you can see you could just come in and change a couple of the options and you know it's good for development right just to debug and, and understand what everything is happening okay so the next thing that we're going to do is look into the SAS folder okay so our SAS folder is here it has all our styles uh, basically we have this one this main CSS this is where all our styles is going to be imported to all right basically from here is where we are gonna do changes like let's say if we wanted to change the background to red we would just say hey background red save that and as you can see the background automatically reloads because we have live reloading we have everything that you need to be productive and like create something cool it's all there guys like literally everything is there for you guys you don't have to do anything <laughs> like all you have to do is just worry about the code you don't have to worry about gulp you don't have to worry about webpack you don't have to worry about none of those stuff like everything's already set up for you so yeah let's get started man Cool, man so let's look into this one this one's public files is where our SAS is gonna get compiled to regular CSS here and we have a couple of fonts road rage just for the hell of it I had that one there uh, we have another one which is JS this is where our components is going to get sent so when something gets changed here automatically it gets compiled to this two files you got one called hyper which is our main app and this one is vendor where we keep all the vendor files all right so everything that is like dealing with a hyper app or any other uh vendor files like you know like let's say something like redux or or any of those they all get sent here to the vendor.js all right guys so we're gonna jump to the next video which is 
us actually coding something and building things all right guys so i'll see you guys in a little bit guys i hope that you enjoyed this video that you just saw right now i just want to remind you that hey check out the description below make sure you click in there man i have a couple of links man that's gonna save you money save you time and get you on your journey as a developer man i have the best courses here of udemy i also have my courses here from udemy but at the same time if you want to come to my website where i'm basically releasing courses every single day you could sign up for a subscription that is 50 percent off guys straight up 50 percent off from everything you have the monthly subscription ten dollars a month 45 dollars a year one-time purchase 150 dollars a lot of people have been signing up i have over five thousand basically five thousand people who have signed up to the website really enjoying the website right now guys like seriously i'm over here breaking down topics that will be harder for a lot of people to learn and now i'm making it easier and more accessible for you guys you know it's a very good discount uh basically you getting everything that you want for 10 bucks a month every single day new courses new videos are being released we're talking about over 20 courses for ten dollars it's the best way to save money guys and it's like it's a really good way for you guys to get your career started with very little investment all right guys so i'll see you guys later make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and bye